From ClarkWoods.com, this is Horribly Off Topic with Chris and Steve. This is episode 48. Woo-hoo. And yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo. I'm pretty excited. I'm <laughs> I if can you can tell, tell um, uh, folks out there that expect this on like Monday afternoon. Yes. You guys are going to be disappointed because we're recording this on Monday afternoon. <laughs> yes. And you're going to be like, where's the fucking show? Where's the show, man? I don't know. My microphone has already dropped. Yeah. My, like my balls have dropped. Um, That's good that your balls have dropped, huh? Yeah. I mean, it should have happened a long time help? ago. But but uh, it's just going to fall, I think. I think my, my mic is a little heavy. Um Oh, that's lovely. Did you make it make a I made a noise? lot of noise. You All might right. want to cut this part out. <laughs> I'll just try to tone that shit down. Um yeah, so we uh were recording on Monday afternoon. Uh because we were we were thinking about recording yesterday and uh I did not plan it well. Uh my f- extended family was also over yesterday and right beyond the walls. There was were, just a screaming baby. There was a screaming and baby. Loud loud stuff there was loud loud stuff and um yeah it was not an opportune podcasting environment no it wasn't but hey you know what uh so you guys have to wait wait a few extra hours get it for your commute home if i'm if i rush (laughs) you'll maybe you'll get it on tuesday you'll get it and you're lucky to get it because we're so great yes um you know who else was great (laughs) King of the Segway, Chris. What, who else was great? <laughs> Dick Van Patten. Dick Van Patten was great. He was so great. Great was enough. Um, and no, eight was enough or something. What? What, did you ever watch Eight is Enough? No. I I, I was trying to remember. I, I think there were some attractive daughters on, on Eight is Enough. I think that was the lure. Like older. Older like, like uh, you know, teenagers, 20-somethings. Um, okay. Because they had right. eight kids between the two of them, I think that was the premise. I think it was uh, just couldn't stop having babies. Basically, couldn't. Well, I think it was like a Brady Bunch scenario. I think really, it was, it was that kind of thing. I, that's what I think. But then they just call it Brady Bunch Two Electric Boogaloo. Uh, <coughs> that was one. <laughs> um, who was on it? Okay, I, I brought up the the article about um, him dying. But uh, I cannot remember who was on it. You know what else he was in while I, while I looked this up? He was also in Spaceballs. Who was he in Spaceballs? He, he was the king. He was, oh, yeah! <laughs> he was the king in Spaceballs. But didn't he, uh, wasn't he in Bill? Was he Bill, uh, was he Bill Burr? No, not Bill Drink. Burr. He, if he was inside Bill Burr, I hope Bill was drinking. Because I have to say, Dick Van Patten, not a small fellow, Probably would have required a little bit of, uh, of, of. I thought he was a small fellow. Lubrication on both ends. Well, I mean, not maybe a short fellow, but not a not a fellow of uh, of small uh, of small girth. Poor Dick Van Patten, because like, because we're just we're just yeah. no, no, not not because like if you're thinking of Dick Van whomever, mm. you're thinking of Dick Van Dyke. You're yes, thinking, yeah, that is this is true. This is true. Meet Bill, I think, or was it Bill? All right, Bill. Uh, I don't know. Bill? Um, while you figure out whether he's on uh, Bill, and I don't know what Bill is, uh, L- Laney O'Grady was Mary Bradford on Eight it- Is Enough. Susan Richardson, I think she might have been the one that I had uh, a super crush, a, a crush on. on. There was Connie Needham. I, there was no picture of her. This is unfair. Um, Adam Rich. Why do I? I feel like I know Adam Rich from something. Oh, he was the. He was the. The shorter one. I feel like he was like a Howard Stern guy or something later ooh, on in life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, he, like he hung out there or something. Uh, Willie Ames. Willie Ames was on 8 is Enough. I don't know who that is. You don't know who it, Willie Ames? Willie Ames. This, 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 this guy right there. That guy. Willie Ames. You don't um, know him? No. My goodness. We're coming across a, a wall here. A wall in Steve's I'm trying to knowledge. find something here. Something that I know something about that you don't. That, that really freaks me out. Uh, Ralph Macchio was on 19 episodes of It Is Enough, as it turns out. Uh, it was Joe, Mickey Rooney that was Mickey in Bill. Mickey Rooney, not Dick Van Patten. <laughs> They're both all. little guys, aren't they? I don't know. I, uh, and I'm, I think I'm just thinking of Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney? <laughs> yeah. 
He, that's the big Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Mickey. He's roomy. <laughs> he takes up a lot of room. No, 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 no. He has enough room to put things in him. Oh, okay. Like Dick Van Patten. He hate Or Dick Van Dyke. It was just my my opportunity to tell my, my, my dad's favorite Dick Van Dyke joke. What is your dad's favorite Dick Van Dyke? Jack- <laughs> 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 dad- Talk about tongue twisters. <laughs> <laughs> was that um, before he became Dick Van Dyke, you, do you know what his name was? <laughs> um, penis Van Vagina? <laughs> Close. Penis to Lesbian. Oh, Dyke. You're welcome. The thing you put <laughs> your finger in on the dam. Yes. Um, Dick Van Dyke. Uh, no, Dick Van Patten died. Dick Van Dyke already dead? I can't remember. I think he's dead. Mickey Rooney's dead. Mickey I know Rooney that. is dead. They're all the great ones. All the great actors. Who's from, the guy from on 60 Minutes? Day. That was, um, I don't know. The guy at the end, he's like, he would like you know what? You know what I hate? Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney. Holy crap. All the Rooney's. You know what I hate? <laughs> Rooney Mara. Rooney Mara. I'm Much not a fan. I'm not a fan of sports drinks, Chris. I'm not a fan of... Uh, when you used to retire, you used to get a gold watch. <laughs> and now, now you're... Getting... I was in the movies and I put a gold watch in my ass. <laughs> I just sound more like Gilbert Godfrey now. I Godfrey think knows. you're thinking of Christopher Walken. Yeah. Um, I put it in my ass for so long and I held it for this boy and I gave this boy this watch. And now he's mad that his girlfriend left it at the apartment, and then he had to go back and shoot John Travolta. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> um, so Dick Van Patten is dead. Rest in peace, Dick. And Andy Rooney, and Mickey Rooney, and Dick Van Dyke, if you're, and, unless you're still alive, in which case... And Mickey Rourke. Congrats. Mickey Rourke. And he's Mickey sti- Mouse. Mickey Rourke is still alive. Mickey Mouse is still alive. Well, he's a cartoon. He is. <laughs> well, I mean... How, uh, how bonkers was that conversation? How bonkers? We just- <laughs> that, was pretty, that was pretty bonkers. Um, also in the news this week, Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd, who played... I, for, you, you, you had said something about it like before we recorded, and I'm like, yeah. who the hell is Jake Lloyd? <laughs> and then I looked it up, I'm like, oh, that kid. <laughs> yes. Now, this is pod racing. Former Star Wars star Jake Lloyd was arrested uh, after a police chase in South Carolina last week. Please confirmed to ABC News. Uh, apparently, he, as Colton County Sheriff's deputies attempted to pull the vehicle over, the vehicle started passing cars on a double yellow line and increased speed, driving in a reckless manner, the report added. Now, I just have to, I have to point out All right, here, NPR, Chris, what else does it say? I have to point out here that the vehicle did not do this itself. Jake Lloyd... Was the drive unless it was a fucking transformer? Unless this was Bumblebee, <laughs> he wasn't in that movie. No, <laughs> he luckily <laughs> wasn't in any movies. Luckily, after he, Star Wars, yeah. Um, but I think it, he might have been in one, but I really think that ruined his career. Yeah, I mean, he was in a movie before. Yeah, he was in Jingle All the Way. That's right. Uh, which but, he also wasn't good in, but he wasn't the main part of the story. He was just like. Hey, Arnold and Sinbad are fighting over this toy. Right. The and Turbo here Man. Is this little kid. Uh, I, I'm going to show Steve this picture and get his, uh, get his reaction right here. Uh-oh. Is uh, it and Jake I will put Lloyd this now? In the, in, the, in the show notes, which will be at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash 48. Ooh. What? <laughs> what <a laughs> could you, could dick. you describe for the listeners uh, what Jake Lloyd looks like? He looks like a dick. <laughs> he looks like a dick. <laughs> He's got a goatee. <laughs> he does. And it, a shaved head. It, just He's got scruff, sort of like a... Um, what's his butt? One of the guys in the new season of uh, True Detective. Oh, I Kind of has the yet. same sort of... I haven't seen it either, but I've seen the ads. Oh, oh, uh, no. Cal- Colin Farrell's rocking the yeah, longer Yeah, Colin Farrell... No, Col- no, he's got the longer hair in this one, doesn't he? No, but like I'm saying his facial hair is, oh, okay. is pretty like, yes, yes, douchey yes, yes. like that. It is very douchey. It is very Colin Farrell-like. It's not even like a fun like hipster mustache where no, it's got like, no. uh, like a handle... But it's like a handlebar or has like a bicycle yeah. on it. Have or- you seen... Speaking of mustaches, the, there's a dude, one of the, one of the auto local, getting local for you, um, one of the local auto retailers, is that what you call them, auto dealers, 
There's a guy. Yeah, they do silver... retail autos, so that's that's a that's a an right. astute statement. Thank you. Um, there's a guy with a mustache, and, and it's a silver mustache, and and it it does the curl up thing, but not like a like a extensive curly cue. It just it it looks really fake. It looks. I, do you know which guy I'm talking about? Like it? No, but is it like <laughs> I, a fake mustache? It, it, it looks like a fake mustache, but I think it's his <laughs> mustache. <laughs> Buy a car from me. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, do you think Jake Lloyd is gonna? Uh, is he going the way of like Dana Plato, like like child stars? Like, uh, she, is he gonna be in porn? Was she in porn? She was in porn. I was just thinking of like tragic young death. But uh, but Jake Lloyd, oh. what what? I mean, could he be in Star Wars: The Phantom Men Ass? Uh, I mean, could he? Could I think he that movie that? probably already happened. That probably did already happen. <laughs> one who, of my favorite who things was with who in Star Wars uh, Episode One: The Phantom Men Ass. Like like I like, didn't who did they... see. I didn't see it, Chris. But in your mind, I mean, I mean, you gotta imagine. I think you could well, make definitely Obi Wan and and. Qui Gon Jinn, definitely. Okay, so this is a gay porn. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, so so you're, you're just putting man ass in there. It's definitely yeah. a gay porn. Yeah. So uh, Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Um, who's, who's I think Jar- there's a three way with Jar Jar. Three way with Jar Jar. When they meet up okay. with him. All right. Is that the only scene Jar Jar's in? He's like he's get, taking it from both ends. Taking it from I I, I uh, Misa. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> um and okay so is padme just watching i mean yeah. it, so it's just i it's mean the, a little bit a little bit for the uh if there's any straighties watching maybe she's playing with herself okay. two, two of the go. jedis are banging or whatever. I, I i think i think you got it thank you for, for painting <laughs> that audio picture theater of the mind yeah um so one of my favorite things speaking of jake lloyd yeah he was at a convention in milwaukee and that's where the guys that do the Red Later Media stuff uh, live. Oh, and so they... They had their booth right next to his booth. Oh, that does not end well. And I, I think there's a video online of it. Don't... I mean, if it's tough to find, don't don't go, go crazy okay. uh, right. for the notes. But... Oh my god, it was really just weird. Just because, like, <laughs> these these are the guys that just basically rip this kid this kid to shreds yeah. for like an hour and a half. Well, not just that kid, but that entire film, and probably not just before that uh, meeting, but yeah, yes. but way before that, yeah. And so, and now they're just like, "Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Jake?" <laughs> I think they they go up and talk to him for a second, but I'm not sure. So, do you think it's possible instead of getting into porn that he could have one of the great second acts in American uh, film acting history, like uh, Travolta? Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like Travolta, even though he had like a, a severe dip. It's not like he was make he wasn't making money. Right. It's and, also not like and he he's was always like, and when... I, I finally got to watch that, that Scientology documentary. Oh really? I still haven't documentary seen <laughs> documentary. Uh, I finally got to watch that and uh, it, it was actually pretty entertaining. And, mm. but like, he's been a Scientologist since like go since yeah. like before welcome back Cotter. Yeah. So, I mean like way back. Did yeah. You think he, you think he hung out way, way back with welcome, way, way, Way back. No. It, no. it was Welcome Back. That no. was how the song went. I know. I know. And Gabe Kaplan is apparently an expert poker player. I did not know that. Also a Scientologist? I don't think he's a Scientologist, but no. I think he's a... If there was anybody that we went to high school with who you think turned out to be a Scientologist, can you think of somebody like right off the top of your head? Let me think. Um, we'll think we we were we were a couple of years separate from yeah, that's true. the people that we knew. Mm, mm. Uh, I don't think I knew anybody personally that might end up in Scientology. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I, as much as the, the I hope they don't come after us or anything. <laughs> but we're just talking about the documentary. Take it easy, guys. We right. don't make any money on this. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't. We Destro- definitely don't make any please, money on this. Please don't destroy us from the in or outside. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, like, just like any religion. Mm. Relig- oh, Steve. <laughs> I didn't. You, you, hey, uh, hey. Uh, just like any religion. Hey, just like any religion. Steve did not at all just make a gesture. From the exterior, it can seem. Uh, I, I'm trying not to use this phrase too much. Mm hmm. But cuckoo bananas. <laughs> cuckoo bananas. Yes, it can seem cuckoo bananas. I was I was at a um I was at a wedding on Friday night, and speaking of things that are cuckoo bananas, um the the service was, was a 
traditional Christian service. And, and uh, I will say just in general, beautiful wedding, beautiful couple. Like I was happy to be there. It was, it was all great, but uh, aside I mean, from your brother putting his foot into your crotch, <laughs> that was, that was a little strange. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wasn't going to bring that up. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, aside from that, um, it, at the service, I was, I was struck in, and the, I, in I was, the face. I was struck in the face by by Jesus. That's, what? That, I mean that you know this particular de- denomination. That was that's just that's just how they roll. Um, no, the the emphasis on uh, on God versus uh, the individual couple seemed very out of whack to me. Even even given that it was a Christian wedding, you know, I haven't been to a ton of them. Um, like been Christian, some, like uh, it was a Catholic. I or? feel like it was at a Baptist church, but I might be wrong. Oh, okay. So it wasn't. It wasn't like it was it not a Catholic. In, it wasn't in Latin or anything. No, you know? no. But it was just you know the you know my brother made the made the joke to me at some point in the evening that uh, the guy was was really all about him. It was about the 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 preacher first, Jesus second, and then the couple getting married maybe like sixty fifth. Like they were really low on the priority list. Um, there was just like I'm occasionally low in the mix. Occasionally, occasionally. I, I are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know I, it's fine now. I can see it. I, I'm just busting your chops. <laughs> um, the the line that really got me was, uh, and and it's uh, was that uh, we, your unworthy children, uh, was a line that was uh, that was in there. Uh, in in reference, it was it was a line directed at Jesus or God or the Holy Spirit or all three. However, that works. Um, I feel like you have to be a mathematician to understand Christianity. Um, yeah, the that line really got me. Um, just the so you're the, you're back in you're back into religion because no of that? no it got me in in a way that I was just I, I I had a hard time paying attention to the rest of the service. Oh, so it didn't get you emotionally? No, either. it it kind you of weren't getting me. a little tearing up or anything. No, no, and and, and uh, I feel like they had. Uh, the wedding that they wanted, which is which is all you can ask. It just it was weird to me. I would never, uh, I would never want to be part of a ceremony that was that impersonal. Um, I, in that in that case, I would rather just go to, rather just go to uh, JP and, uh, and just or Vegas. Well, or you 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 guys had a nice little wedding. It wasn't. We did. It wasn't like it. It weirded. I see. We were on the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of not having an officiant, so it weirded everyone out that we sort of just married ourselves. There were witnesses, which is what's Yeah, I mean, that's the important part, and yeah. Yeah, but there wasn't somebody there during the ceremony part of it to sort of proclaim, you know, here they are, husband and wife. So we kissed at the end of the ceremony, and everyone was like, uh, do we clap? And there was a moment, and everyone clapped, and, and it, it, did, it was not that awkward. It was just, it was an awkward moment. It's like, wow, this I think I booed. Weird. You might have. I'll have to go review the tape. <laughs> Boo! Boo! You stink! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, so, uh, yeah, we were kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum uh, in that regard. But uh, it was the first of uh, three Baha'i weddings over the next, or four, over the next uh, five to ten years that I was uh, I was at. And it was the same in all of them. Uh, so it's not like it's uh, illegal in any sense, to not have an officiant, it's just weird. Um, I would it'd be cool to have Elvis be like, "Hey, do you take this woman?" <laughs> <Ba-do-ba-do-do."> <laughs> you could, you should start a. That's how you should make some money because I mean, well, I don't look like Elvis at all, and I'm uh, not well, shaving you, my I'm, beard. You did a you did a decent impression, is what I'm saying. You did Elvis in the in the later years. Elvis in the I'm not that fat. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant. Like Elvis in the years post TV. Like who knows? He might have been rocking a beard all at right. some point. I wasn't well, saying post TV, post like or or pre or post like, TV, like pre- when he was shooting TV. Yes, yes, pre um, falling down uh, off of the toilet uh, while his final piece of kingly evidence was floating in the bowl behind him. How do you, do you think? Like he just ate a lot of cheese. Is that was like maybe just not enough roughage? Uh, that's I. I I'd there might be too much painkillers. I think that might have been it. Yeah, I mean because his gas was so bad for eating all the cheese. <laughs> I have bad gas, but Man. like. Your gas is as, as I as I <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> what do they? How many? How much do they drink when you bur- when you belch? 
I mean, like if it's the drinking game, like each time Steve Belch. But I think that just like you know, if if there's if someone's compiling a list, that's got to be on there. <laughs> that's got to be on there. So I'm gonna make a segue to take a to, shot to gas here. To gas. Oh, Be- good. Becky sent us a little article, uh, or or as I like to call, farticle. Farticle. I see what you did there. Okay, farts deserve names too. We made up a list to help you understand your fart characteristics and how they're formed. So we're going to be educational. This is going to be infotainment today. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So you mean we weren't entertaining or infotaining people when we, we could have talked about Dick Van Patten? No. <laughs> okay. We might have been entertaining, but we were, there was no info in there. <laughs> no we info. got. I got. I forgot who he was, <laughs> and I couldn't. And remember then which I, one of the girls was hot. And then I couldn't remember. I confused him with Mickey Rooney, and then we just <laughs> talked about every other person that's died except for him. So no, that wasn't <laughs> that good wasn't about good about Dick Van Patten. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's educate now. Okay, so this is edu- educational. This the, the silent but deadly, the SBD, uh, I'm, I'm sure is ev- everybody refers to it as, uh, just comes out randomly and fills the air around you. Chewing gum is the most well-known suspect for these farts. There's a small amount of sorbitol, an indes- in- indigestible sugar found in gum, that makes you fart. These farts won't smell but will either make no sound at all or sound like a short, powerful windrush. Mm. Or like, you know... When they you have, won't smell when at you, all. No, apparently, but if, you, if you're if you chewing gum and you're, you have, like, food that makes you have smelly farts, I think the com- combination oh, of the that's two... that's how you end up with... Got it. Okay, and then the unsuspecting is caused by apples, peaches, and prunes. Mm. Uh, sorbitol can also be found in fruits. I think it's... Uh, I think I know why they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to want to be around you when you got gas leaks. Luckily, these farts are tolerable. These will most likely be quiet and evaporate quickly. Mm. And then there's the jazz quartet. Ooh. Um, Tell me more. Caused by cereal, oatmeal, and other breads. <laughs> Uh, lactose is the most common is most commonly found in dairy, but it's also added to many cereals and breads. Small amounts of lactose combined with fiber and starch will create cute little gas bubbles in your colon. Mm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Not only will they smell and sound nice, but they'll also remind you of a smooth the smooth sounds of a jazz quartet. <laughs> and then there's Pandora's box which is caused by broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and cabbage. All those good things. Mm. Uh, raffinose uh, is another type of indes- in- indigestible sugar. But really, raffinose? More like burn my nose. Who, wrote, who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> Sick burn my It nose. says by Spoon University contributor. It doesn't even have a freaking <laughs> person that wrote it. Nobody wants to take credit. <laughs> Uh, who knew eating veggies could backfire? Uh, so much for trying to be healthy. These veggies will open up Paran- Pandora's box of hell Ooh. and unleash the most horrid smells that none of us deserve to live through. So, like, I'm trying to think of, like, where the nuclear bomb. This is probably, I- I'm skipping a couple here. Okay. Like, we-, we got the beans one. Of course it's beans. Of course there's the beans one. And then there's ice cream, like the dairy farts. So, mm. The, the the dairy one's called the sour milk. The worst uh, third wheel is is called the is the beans one. Yeah. And the fast food one is is the nuclear bomb. Uh, the special type of fart that will send you straight to your deathbed. Fast food mm-hmm. contains the highest amount of sugars that makes your intestines stop functioning and let out farts. Oh, so ghastly that you uh, could do some terrible things to your senses. Uh, cron sitter. Cronsitter? I think maybe they did. Oh, so ghastly. That was my fa- favorite line there. Is it because it's like Crohn's? Cronsitter? Oh, maybe. I don't know. That's, that's, that's either a bad joke or, or a typo. That's a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's either a bad joke or a typo. Yeah. Because yeah. I think it's supposed to be consider your body a temple and stop uh, oh, yeah, yourself con- <laughs> and stop yourself from dropping that bomb. Yeah. Please do. So yeah, uh, the the ones that I had last week after the uh, rock and rib fest. Were those nuclear? <sighs> it was like, <laughs> I, and there was a lot of them, dude. There, were there was, they were, they were, they were many, and they were just bad. Like, and we were both having them because we had pulled pork sandwiches. Mm. I had pulled pork sandwich with macaroni and cheese on it. That is, <laughs> your colon was the horn of plenty. Oh yeah, it's a 
cornucopia of farts. Imagine just like, you know, being like, hey, can you pick up that thing right next to me and make sure you keep your mouth open? And then I accidentally, well, in, accidentally and intentionally uh, farted in your mouth. <laughs> and you'd be like, oh. That's nasty. That is that is nasty. So yeah, that we, we had a fun little. Oh yeah, speaking of fun, mm-hmm. fun is what you know. Farts are fun. <laughs> farts are fun, and also going on little trips are fun. Yeah, where so did you go? I you know I I guess I am used for uh, the travelogue portion I, I, of the I, show. <laughs> I, I think so. I don't I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I went to a wedding. Yes, and I I used it, that to disparage Christians. There was there was there <laughs> any was, uh, was there anything funny that happened at the uh, wedding? Anything funny that happened before at the we wedding? move on to more fun um, things? No, I, I I didn't mean to bring it back to the wedding. I was just saying that that's about as far as I went. As I went to a wedding in Nashua. Which, oh, <laughs> which is like that was like quite a haul. For Twenty you. minutes away. For those of you who don't know where we are right now, I don't oh know sorry, I just the, all of a sudden had a list. Oh I yes. Getting local for you. Um, I, the the ceremony was in Milford, so that's about a forty minute drive. Uh, and then Milford, New Hampshire, is right on the border of Massachusetts. Yes, this is true. And then uh, Nashua is a town over, two towns over. Eh, yeah, something like that. And yeah, that's where the reception was. But nothing particularly funny. No. Oh, good. So I I just wanted to bring up that I am trying to get out there to contribute to the travel log portion of the show. I just I'm just going and doing and, and doing the same things you, that I would do. You are following Yoda's advice. Do or do not. There, there is no trap. Uh, yeah, I'm not even trying. I'm going out there and I'm doing. You're doing. So we just uh I I guess I could finally say this because mm. it's actually happening. Okay. Um I am currently on this date in between jobs. And ah. in, intentionally I'm taking a little bit of time off in between. Yeah. Uh and uh so I start my new job beginning of next week, mm-hmm. and so to, uh, today uh, I've got a little time off. That's why we're recording early in the afternoon on right. a, on, on a, a Monday. Monday because I'm not at work. Uh, so because of that, I, because of having the little time off in between, um, Becky and I were able to take a little mini vacation, mm-hmm. and we went to uh, went to Portland, Maine. Okay. Which is not far from here. It's probably maybe like no traffic. You can get there from here. Probably like two hours max. I yeah, think. about two. That um, like. And if you're, if you got, if you got, if you're gunning it, you could probably get there an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so it was, it was a lot of fun. We stayed at this hotel, it was the press hotel. Mm. It was very nice, very fancy, very yeah. cool. Um, we uh, we got there. We tooled around. We had a couple of drinks. It was uh, it was pretty all right. And then we uh, our our my <laughs> what I really wanted to do was go to a barcade. And mm-hmm. there's one called uh, the uh, the Arcadia National Bar. <laughs> That's a good name. That's a good because like you know they have Arcadia National Arcadia Park National Park up yep. in Maine. Is it up in Maine? It is in Maine. It's uh, it's it's north of Portland. It's a couple hours north of Portland. Yeah, so I think that's where the because it's you know it has to do with with arcades. It has to do with Maine, that's and it has name. to do with the bar. And uh, so we we went there, uh, but before we uh, we went there, we had a little uh, a little munchies. Mm. We went to the Thirsty Pig. Also a good name. Yeah, it was. Uh, they make their own sausages there. Oh, cool! And uh, they have like, like uh, I guess I can't appreciate it because like I'm living back in Mass. Yeah, and happy hour is illegal in Massachusetts. Mm, I did not know that. Yeah, it's ha- meaning you can't lower the price of drinks or... from X to Y. Oh. You can have like all day drink specials. You can have like like two dollar Miller Lite drafts mm. or. Uh, Two dollar Gansett cans. Ooh. Hey everybody, I'm drinking Gansett. Maybe nice. they'll advertise with us. <laughs> um, so, so you couldn't get your two dollar. I mean, yeah, couldn't get a no. But like we went during happy hour. But yeah, you can't do it in mass. But yeah, so but, like in Maine, in Maine, in Maine, in New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, any other place you can go to, <laughs> except for Puritan, Massachusetts, where there's no damn happy hour. No. Nobody gets to be happy here. Yeah. 
Well, I don't know. It's it's, it's sometimes they have cheap drinks yeah. at a place, but you know that has to be all the time. Right, right, right. right. Because you can't. Because like I, I guess their rationale is, well, we don't want people getting out of work and getting hammered and then driving home. Like people are doing that anyways, regardless <laughs> of what it costs. You can help boost the economy by letting bars do eh, whatever. And I don't know. Like we we talked about this before. Mm. Like the. Like if if you were that concerned, like the, if they were that concerned for the public safety, yeah, like there'd be a cop outside every bar, like yes. all the time, being like, "Here's a breathalyzer. Oh, you can't drive. Have a seat." Right. Instead of letting people drive, yeah, and then pulling them over, and then which is a safety hazard in itself. Yeah, agreed. And then giving them a DUI and making it so they can't drive anymore. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of security theater in our um, in our country and in our state. Uh, you know, we are. We, no, I'm not just in the state. I think anywhere. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. In our country and in our state. You know, I mean, we are living in the country where uh, one failed shoe bomb attempt means we all have to take off our shoes. Well, they didn't make me do it the, when I went to Seattle last year. <laughs> and yet they're like, keep your shoes on. And we're like, OK. <laughs> and yet a couple dozen school shootings and we can't uh, have any gun reform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we went to the Thirsty Pig. We got they 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 home make they make their sausage. I think I drank Gans the whole time. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I mean, even though it was happy, I was still drinking the uh, the beer in a can at a bar we're sitting outside there was some folks playing the old cornhole mm. next to us you know you're familiar with <laughs> I, um no familiar with cornhole chris i i am familiar with cornholio no it's uh it's not beavis with his shirt who needs tp uh, for his bunghole yeah no no not not that uh it was uh it was a game that i uh, that i played when i was down south mm. uh it's basically you got two of these wooden like boards with a uh, hole in them <laughs> Okay. Uh, that have a little like platform. <laughs> that, so it's facing. It's called cornhole. It's not a glory hole. It's I mean, not a glory hole. I'm gonna. So it's it's like an, an incline, and there's like it's 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 held up like that, and the hole's like right there. Okay, got it. And you have these like bags mm-hmm. with with the, like probably corn in them. I think right. that's I think that's probably why. Yeah. They call it cornhole, mm-hmm. but it, it like dried corn in in like a, a bean bag. Yeah. So you throw the bean bag. And you try to get it in the hole. That is the game. That is the game. And there was some folks playing cornhole over uh, at the Thirsty Pig when we were having our dinner. As Mainers do. Yeah. You know, they picked up something from down south. Yeah. You know. I mean, uh, the Maine is the, uh, is, is the south of the north. Is it? Mm. I think if you go north of Portland, maybe. but Maybe, yeah. I mean, a lot. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the the southern part is. I mean, the Mainers, true Mainers, sort of frown on everything south of Portland. So, because that's all like touristy, it's all touristy and you know, it, um, not maybe not everything. Uh, you know, the Berwicks are close enough to to Portsmouth to kind of fall into that artsy fartsy uh, <laughs> culture there. Um, and then there's like there are some beach towns that are not. You know, I'm just. I'm saying this as the as the I was going to say I was going to say the wife of uh, the, as the husband of uh, of a Mainer, um, um, Chris. Is there something <laughs> you want to tell me? Are you going to be Caitlin now? Um, I'm not going to be Caitlin. I wonder what what my name would anyway. Um, no, <laughs> just let, well, what do you, what, what would you uh, want to be as your lady name? What would my lady name be? I'm going to go with Abigail. I like Abigail. Yeah, yeah we'll go with that. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about it. So at the moment, I'll just I'll just do the gender swap and say Stephanie. Stephanie. But uh, right. but uh, maybe I'll think about it in the think future. Um, my Stephanie, the one that I'm married to, not not the one that I'm podcasting with right I'm now. I'm Steve. <laughs> Aunt Stephanie? No. Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> um. You want to get like a, a nice swift <laughs> kick punch, in my cornhole punch punch to the face. Um, she I, oh uh, some beach towns I get I you know I get the sense that uh, don't carry the same as like Old Orchard. Like Old I like Orchard Old is, Orchard it, because it's it's full of arcades and I like Old and Orchard bars too. and and stuff that I like. It's one of the only booze places, and video games. One of the only beaches I've been to in the last however many years that still feels like it did when I was a kid. You know, it has it has. I like the, the stickers too because it's O O B, and all you have yeah. to do is just find a, like go to a hardware store and get another B sticker. You got a boob. And put sticker. it on there, and then hey, <laughs> check it out! You got a boob sticker boob. on your car. 
I think Wells, uh, and, and maybe it's just because Stephanie's great grandparents had a beach house on Wells, but I feel like Wells is one of those towns that's, uh, on the, on the ocean that's not looked down upon, but yeah, I mean, otherwise a lot of what's south of Portland, yeah, maniacs don't seem to, don't seem to dig it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so you went to the I, I, uh, Thirsty Pig. Thirsty Pig. We had a couple uh, beverages, and then we went over to the Barcade, mm-hmm. Arcadia National Bar. I keep on to say park, but it's not park. It's right. bar. Arcadia. Park. <laughs> so we went in there. They had a, they had a bunch of a uh, bunch of newish and uh, older pinball machines, which is a drink, drink, <laughs> um, and uh, and they had a. They had a PS3 set, or no PS4 set up behind the bar, mm-hmm. and if you ask the bartender, she would give you the controllers. And then we, we were playing Street Fighter at the oh, bar. Nice. Uh, I, I got I just got beers, but Becky she got uh, she got a couple of Jiggly Punches. Oh, it was you know because Jigglypuff from uh, yeah yeah from Pokemon. Okay, and then uh, she oh, had so a, a drink probably specific to that bar. Yeah. Not so yeah, this into. is not some yeah, this is something you would have to go to the this place to get. And and it was actually really tasty and she she was like, "Yeah, this is really tasty." <laughs> and she had two of them and then she was like, "I'm really drunk." And I mean, like, you know, we parked the car, we did not right. drive it again yeah. until we left. So we were walking everywhere. So this was yeah. an, an issue of uh of drinking and driving, but right, we were no. we were pretty when we left. We were pretty hammered. <laughs> <laughs> she had two of those, and then she had a Falcon Punch, mm-hmm. which is from uh, uh, Captain Falcon from okay yeah. from the Smash Brothers games. Yep. I mean, he's from F Zero, but uh, like but most people know him from Smash Brothers. I think uh, Column A uh, and Column B. Yeah, yeah. But the the move that he's uh, that I'm talking about that he does the Falcon Punch is from Smash Brothers. Oh, got it. And he goes yeah. Falcon. Punch, and he's just and he has like, it's like a flaming falcon is like on his on fist. His fist. Oh, and then there's it. there's there's memes online of uh, of the falcon punch of of real life falcon punches. Ooh. I mean, does he punch you anywhere in particular? It's not like a donkey punch. Where does a donkey punch go? You, are you familiar with the donkey punch? I'm not familiar with the donkey punch. I think it's like when you uh, are fucking a girl from behind. Oh god! All right. And then you like <laughs> you put it in her ass, and then you punch her in the back of the head. I think. Jesus Christ! I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I, I'm not sure if that's right. <laughs> Somebody can. One of our amazingly learned <laughs> listeners uh, could email a... us and and get me get I me am, straight on what a donkey punch I is. I'm very sorry that I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just like a you know at at best that or worst that it was like a punch in the balls or something but oh, No no, right. no 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 it's, okay. it's 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 way more grotesque than that. <laughs> All right. Well, I consider myself educated. So no, a falcon punch is just a punch to your face. Punch to your face. Punch to your face. With Which a falcon. is with well, well like a with flaming falcon. A flaming falcon because he's Captain Falcon. Speaking of flaming falcons, <laughs> no. Wait, I'm not done with Maine yet. <laughs> okay. Maine. So yeah, we were there and uh, we. We, I, we, I played a bunch of games. I was getting progressively worse at mm-hmm. because I was getting more drunk. You know, and uh, and then we we played a little Mortal Kombat. Oh, um, my favorite! Do we play Mortal Kombat? I don't know. Uh, you said you played Street Fighter. You get? I, we were no, we were playing Street Fighter at the at the oh, bar at, the, at, at arcade. And we did like you know like old school arcade rules. Like mm-hmm. if you lose, you give up the controller. If you win, you just keep on playing. And yeah. I was winning for a while. Yeah, and this kid fucking wrecked me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot that I'm like like against people that never play Street Fighter. I can beat them like most of the time. Yeah. But like against somebody who actually plays Street Fighter, I'm going to get wrecked every time. But yeah. that and the fact that I use Dan mm. when I play Street Fighter like yeah. is also a pretty, uh, pretty much means I'm probably going to lose. Yeah, I mean it's, it's like me and me and Mortal Kombat. I always play Scorpion, and uh, of course John uh, John, who I do uh, Generation Goat with. Uh, knows all my moves because we've been playing uh, Mortal Kombat against each other for get over here decades and yeah he plays Raiden he could probably put it play pretty much anybody and beat me as Scorpion they were also playing that uh, that new Mortal Kombat I think it's Mortal Com- Mortal Kombat X I've wanted to try that but I'm not going to go out and buy a console <laughs> just to try it uh, I, I'm not I don't think I'm going to get it yeah. um, but I've seen it being played and it's pretty brutal yeah it seems it seems that way. Yeah. I, I was just like, uh, I mean, it, 
maybe <laughs> I'm just not desensitized to violence anymore. Mm. And so stuff like that does kind of irk me. Yeah, it does. But uh, like back in back in 94 or 95 mm. when like the first one came out. Yeah. Like and we would go to Fun World and play it. Right. Um yeah, like the huh. like the just blood flying everywhere. Yeah, but it was still a level ripping of, off his head or whatever. Yeah. With the there spine. was still a level of cartoonishness. Yeah. to it. To it then. So it was just it didn't seem as real. But like, I don't know. Like when you see somebody's spine snap and you're like, yeah, hey. or somebody like like they're their... doing like inside your bone view, and I'm like, God, yeah. that's freaking brutal. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, that's like I, as a curiosity, I would like to play it once, but I probably would not. Uh, would not. Play it a lot. Well, if you get a console, you should just get that. Uh, wait, no, I'm not going to advertise. <laughs> Screw that. There's a service you can I mean, just I mean, like we, that's got... sort of like Netflix oh, that, for, that you can games, get video yeah. games. But I'm not going to say what it is. Um, we have, I mean, we have a console. It's a, 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 a Wii, not a Wii U, but a Wii. Um, and I don't use it all that much. I I used it this past. Friday. I don't think you can get Mortal Kombat for the no, Wii. No, I don't think so. Um, I used it this past Friday because it was my. The, the Wii Fit was my way, and the balance board was my way of weighing myself. Unfortunately, it led to uh, a minor breakdown on Friday because I uh, I went a week of working out every day and w- watching what I ate and gained weight or stayed the same. But my See, that's but, fine, though, because you're probably putting on muscle. But, but here's the, the, the rele- relevant to the Wii thing was, depend- it all depended on where I put my balance board on the floor. So either my balance board is going, the floor is that weird, or I don't know what. Um, it's probably I don't know what. Yeah, probably. Um, at any rate, uh, Maine, I keep cutting you off. We, uh, d- so yeah, we left. The, we 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 uh, we drank. Uh, she had her jiggly punches, and I had my beers, and then we kind of stumbled around a little bit, and then we're like, oh, there's a bar that we had stopped at earlier, and it was like the old Port Tavern or something like mm, that, mm-hmm. and it was just like this place that had just fish tanks and whatnot. Yeah, and uh, they allegedly did karaoke on Thursday nights. Allegedly. And so we go there and there's no one there. Hmm. There's no DJ. We're like, hey, when does karaoke start? They're like 10. And I'm like, 10? That's Who a- starts their fucking karaoke at 10? That's late. That is very late. And I'm a person that likes to go to bed at a reasonable hour. Yeah. yeah. So we like stayed there for a little bit. Think or like, but we actually like ordered some stuff and like hmm. we were thinking it was going to be less time. Yeah. So we're just like, uh, when does this karaoke start? And they're like, not for a while. And we're like, oh, well, we're going to go. Yeah. And if I had just done a little bit of research, I could have found that there was another place that did karaoke and open my comedy on Thursdays. Uh, to do your research. I know. If I had just if I had just gone on my phone, because like I had no signal at the Old Point Tavern, so I'm like no, trying yeah. to pull up... It, where is there another place that the, the do we could do karaoke? And then it yeah. was just like, and it didn't wasn't load, so I just gave up. And then, uh, sure enough, there was, I forget what it was called, but uh, Thursday nights it was uh, karaoke and stand up, and I could have shook off the dust and done a set, done a, done a set, and sang some songs after. Yeah, that would that was a bummer, it was a shame. Yep. Well, there's a reason to go na- go back. Yeah, yeah, on a, a good on, city. On a th- yeah, I totally like. I like walking around there. I mean, aside from the the kind of weird homelesses that are around. Mm, yeah. I mean, it wasn't as bad as Seattle. Right. But like, there's a lot of homeless guys around. Yeah. Just kind of being weird. Right. Right. I remember we we stopped because we went uh, for breakfast the next morning, mm-hmm. uh, and we stopped an ATM at a supermart or whatever. Yeah. And uh, there was this woman standing outside, and like as we were leaving, she grabbed the door and went in after we we came out. And then we overheard, uh, I, at least I overheard, uh, you're not allowed to come in here. You know that. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that she's a regular. Uh, a regular uh, troublemaker, oh, homeless, man. like. Brr. That's not good. So, yeah, like, aside from that, I totally live. Well, you know, I, I think I, I, like I said, it wasn't as bad as Seattle. Yeah. As, as far as the homeless go. And I like Seattle, too. Uh, I'm like, I, I could totally live here. This is, this yeah. is, and like walking around, you can walk around and like, there's no traffic anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what is going on? Is this a city or what? And that's like the biggest city in Maine. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. bigger than the capital. It is. It is. Um, and uh, it's tiny and it's really fun. Yeah. And not from my understanding, not nearly as, uh, kind of dangerous and seedy as, uh, actually, no, I'm thinking of Lewiston. 
that Lewiston and Auburn, I hear, are kind of dangerous, seedy places, not Augusta. I don't know much about Augusta. Dangerous and seedy in Maine? In Maine, yeah. yeah. What? My, well, my brother-in-law works um, at, a, at a hospital in Lewiston or... Is uh, it just like a lot of drug Auburn. problems or something? That's the impression that I get is drug problems and people abusing the welfare system and, um, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Eh, well, you know. Yeah. I so, do. yeah. <laughs> We uh we went to this little okay. diner that was fun. I forget the name of the diner. I totally plug it, but I they don't apparently need any more. <laughs> no, they don't need. Any yeah, there there was a line when we went there, and uh, and then we went we went there was a place right next to it. Yeah, it was like a record and old video game store. And uh, Becky got a she's got her Star Wars Battlefront two game which oh, she's cool. been looking for for a while and yeah, she yeah. that she was pretty excited what, is that a console game or is that a PC yeah it was game? it was on the original xbox but you mm-hmm. can play it on an xbox 360 okay, which she's got uh, she's got borrowing borrowing from uh, a friend of hers yeah which is yeah. good so she could play that and she was very excited that she got it to cool. work last night um what else uh do 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 oh yeah there was we went to this uh, we went to the the cryptozoology museum hmm cryptozoology now if you are unfamiliar with cryptozoology it's a bunch of hokum <laughs> okay basically stuff like bigfoot the loch ness monster oh, okay. chupacabra yes, right. like yeah. you know stuff of legend that people are actually searching for I... and obviously not finding any real evidence. Are, are you ready to drink there was a Pat Oswald bit. Oh, um, really? <laughs> no, I was like, I where do I where do I know cryptozoology from? And he makes uh, he makes a mention of cryptozoological marvel um, in uh, in one of his bits. So I, that's where I knew the term from. So there's this awesome big old statue of the Bigfoot. A Bigfoot. Yeah, and that was and we, uh, we it was it was like seven bucks to go. It was yeah. a good a good way to 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 spend a half an hour or to yeah. an hour. And just like looking at all the stuff, and, and it, I like the little ig- exhibit for the chupacabra or whatever. It was like <laughs> the, the goat sucker. <laughs> I mean, that's what chupacabra means. Yeah, yeah. No, I bet it's it's, it's a f- goat sucker is a funny name. Um, cool. But yeah, we went there, and then went there, there was a comic book shop right near there, which also had more pinball. Oh, which, really? Yeah. They had pinball in the back, which was great. That's and the then, way to get people into your business. Yeah. And, and we got to offer free pinball with every it, it episode. Wasn't, it wasn't free. I mean, you had I to, mean, not free, but like pinball with every episode. Like when you download our show, you get a pinball game, like for your, I don't know. iPhone? Yeah. Like the yeah. pinball. I mean, the, it's not. It's there not, is a pinball like app. Yeah. But you like you only get one pinball machine with it and there's like a free one every month, which is what I do. Mm, okay. Not as good as the not as good as the real thing. But I'm just saying, I mean, even comic book stores are putting pinball machines in the back. So like Well, if they have enough room to put them that in is the obviously back. Either that or they do Magic the Gathering every other night. That's true. That's true. A lot lots of the ones around here do that. Um you get anything at the comic book store? No. I was gonna get a t shirt, but then I you know, I mean not spending money. Yeah. Except yeah. for playing pinball and apparently drinking. <laughs> and drinking. <laughs> Not spending any money at all. Um, oh, well, yeah. But the first night, we, we ended up at this bar called Maps. Mm. And uh, it was just like this little place. And they had just a record player going. And it yeah. was just really tiny. And then we were, we were eating pretzel rods. And we drank our drinks. And then I don't remember how we got back. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're here. You're alive. Yes. And my your butt, licenses are not suspended. Yeah. Our, my butt doesn't hurt. Everything. I think, <laughs> I think everything is all right. <laughs> you were not in uh, the Phantom Menace. Yeah. Which um, Jake Lloyd did not try to <laughs> drive a car or a pod up my ass. Now this is pod racing. No, it's uh, not. Get that out of there. <laughs> Um, so we had a couple other things on the, uh, on the list here. Uh, we're, we're approaching, uh, approaching the, the end of the show, but, um, I don't, I, I'll rattle off the, the things that we could possibly talk about here and you, you, maybe we'll get to all of them, but I'm going to let Steve, are we pick. doing, are we doing a lightning round? Maybe. So, uh, gay mariage. Yes. Um, I saw that on the news when I was laying in bed in a, in a, in a white robe, <laughs> On the hot- at the hotel. <laughs> at the hotel. I'm like, oh, good for them. Good for them. Did you hear, um, uh, after gay uh, marriage decision, Mississippi may stop issuing all marriage licenses. So, um, so gay marriage, in, in case you're not familiar, 
Is there somebody out there? Oh, there's people that are under rocks that there apparently just listen to rocks. our show. Uh, gay marriage uh, legalized throughout the nation, and uh, some of the southern states in particular are trying to find uh, ways to get around it. So Mississippi is thinking about uh, ceasing the issuing of all marriage licenses so that they don't have to issue marriage licenses to the gays and the lesbos. Yeah, but then we're going to take away rights... From everybody. From everybody. It's, it's, like, it, it's like, oh, you better both behave or we're going to turn this car around. You're going to try to make it uh, more of a uh, religious ceremony, I think, is the idea. Um, I think Texas. Just, if you're if you're a gay person, I mean, like, if you're a gay person that lives in Mississippi. Yeah. This is probably the final straw in deciding to maybe leave. Yeah. That, like, that, I, if, that it's, the if it's financial. Court, yeah. The Supreme Court says it's legal, but your state is still trying to find ways to make it so that you don't get to get married. Yeah. So, like, maybe it, unless it's financial reasons that you can't move out of Mississippi. But if you have any means to get out of that state, I say do it and yeah. then ruin that damn state's economy. Uh, that would be that would be the way to do it. Um, Texas apparently was also trying uh, to delay marriage licenses, um, but county clerks there begin issuing licenses regardless, probably in uh, the great city of Austin. Yeah, uh, where... it's just like, well, <laughs> we can't get married anywhere else, but let's go to Austin. Let's go to Austin. They're because not they don't it. give give a shit that we love to pack the fudge. At all. Um, so gay marriage was... So wait, uh, if you work at a candy store and you're also gay, yeah, are you like a double fudge packer? What about if you're uh, if you're E L uh, E L Fudge the uh, the the elf from uh, Keebler the Keebler elf is he a triple like I triple, mean triple dipper triple dipper um, people also that's probably offensive what I just said I'm not apologizing either I I like gay people I think you guys are great I like that you can get married I just made a joke so fuck off people also hate the word moist they do. And do you, have a, um, do you have a farticle to read? I do have a farticle. Oh wait, this is a regular article. This is a, this is a uh, why we hate the word moist. New research shows what's behind the strong aversion. Um, and and this was this would be an opportune time to say that I I actually really like moist cookies. You do <laughs> cookies of all kinds, but moist cookies in particular. We've already gone over this. I like a nice soft gingerbread cookie. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, soft gingerbread cookie. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm with a the bigger, clown head. I'm a bigger fan of the chocolate chip cookie. Um, I also like a snickerdoodle. You know, here and I there. don't like a snickerdoodle. snickerdoodle. I don't like hard cookies. Snickerdoodles don't have to be hard. Oh yeah, if you make them fresh, you make them fresh. But if you get them like in if a you box, make them fresh and moist. Yeah, but if you get them in a box, it's, it's a different kind of if cookie. If you get them in your box, then you're in. You're you have a different problem. If you're if you're getting cookies in your box, I. Pfft. That reminds me of a joke. Why is it so hard for a woman to take a piss in the morning? Why, Steve? Have you ever tried to pull apart a grilled cheese? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we can't end it there. We still, no, have, we can't. We still have eight minutes of the show. Um, so, um, uh, this is from the article. Let me see if I can um, uh, find this. Uh, what is it exactly about the word uh, moist that triggers such a strong aversion? According to research published by psychologists at Oberlin College and Trinity University, our collective hatred seems to have little to do with the words phonological... Phonological? Sorry, John. <laughs> uh, phonological properties, how it sounds, and much more to do with the emotional context. Ooh. The researchers drew their conclusions from three separate experiments. In the first, they asked 400 participants to rate 29 different words on a variety of different categories. The second involved a separate group of 400 who were asked to name the first word that came to mind when hearing the word moist. The final experiment involved 41 students who were presented with strings of letters in blocks of 80. Moist was presented in the second block block and the researchers studied how quickly the participants reacted overall the study participants weren't repulsed by the words foist or rejoice disproving the theory that the aversion is caused by the way the word inherently sounds or the shape your face makes when saying it but moist averse people do also tend to dislike related words such as damp and wet and are highly disgusted with bodily functions so it seems <laughs> If they're highly dis disgusted by bodily functions and they listen to this podcast, I mean, if that's the reason, I, I'm I'm sorry. I know that Rob doesn't like the word moist. 
and he listens to the show. But he, so he's he really does, hating everything he about life right he now. He doesn't mind the the poopy talk. I mean, uh, he I, he doesn't like poopy either. Okay, all right. Oh, what am I six? Um, uh, so, <laughs> so it seems to be the meaning of the word and its underlying associations with bodily functions uh, are at the root of the unpleasant association. So that's why people hate moist is uh, is because it has to do with uh, with caca. <laughs> you have to do with caca. <laughs> you have to do with caca. Um, and uh, so that that that's the that's the second of the lightning round. The the last thing, <laughs> the last thing. Unless you have something else to say. No, about I don't got anything else. We're good. Or or cookies. Like um, I don't know. I I understand the, the the study and how it's great and everything. And yeah, everybody's moist. The study of study. Um, I have a photo. So uh, one of the things we were doing this this past weekend was uh, going through my parents' attic. Uh, we had, you know, my brother was in town for uh, for the wedding, and we were all around and figured now is as good a time as any to kind of go through a bunch of the stuff that had been sitting up in the attic. And in going through some of my old school stuff, I found a photograph. And this all photograph, I want is a photograph. I want to touch you. you. Dun dun. No, that's probably Continue. the wrong, uh, wrong beat. Um, so in this photograph, there are uh, six young men. Probably, let's see. This is is one of them you, Chris. One of them is me. Uh, these young men are probably between the ages of uh, ten and twelve, uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere thereabouts. This is from April nineteen eighty eight. Wow, April nineteen eighty eight. This is from the front yard of my parents' house here, um, and all of these men are holding. Uh, guns of one sort or another. But they, they seem to be toy guns. Um, yes. Well, some of them seem more toy than others. Um, well, so, that, back then, like, I don't, like, was, wasn't there a big push in, like, the late 80s, early 90s to make guns or toy guns not look like guns anymore? Yes. Uh, that was, that was 90s, uh, into the, in the aughts, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, so I think, never mind. I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but, but, uh. Because I remember when I would get the little cap guns, like, at a certain point, they stopped, like, being, like, they, so they, realistic. They, well, yeah. they they would have like uh, a red thing on the end, yeah, to make it like seem like that it wasn't a um, or it was a toy, and yeah, not, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, something that could actually harm you. So if we and I will post this photo, I will post this photo um, in the show notes for the episode. Um, if we start with me, and I'm kind of at uh, at twelve o'clock uh, on the clock here, and we go. Um, Let's kind of go... You're going to put uh, it on your Facebook and try to I, tag everybody? I, <laughs> I think they would be rather mad at me if, if these... <laughs> I'm only friends with one of them on Facebook. I th- well, possibly two. Possibly two. We'll get to that. Yes. Um, so uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go counterclockwise. So starting at the, at the 12 o'clock position, I am, uh, I am there uh, with one eye open... Um, gripping your pillow tight? Yes. Uh, no, I'm gripping my pistol tight. Oh! Um, and I am pointing it right at the camera. Now, next to me in the sort of the, the 11 o'clock position is a guy, uh, I believe his name... Oh, I, I knew his name. Just um, do his first name. I, I, it, I was only going to do his first name, okay. but um, but I, I have lost it. Oh, that's fine. Um, at any rate, uh, there Who is a guy a with shit? a flat top. Flat um, top. Uh, with a flat top in either like a red uh, jacket... Um, he is holding what looks like uh, and I, gun aficionados will get will get on me for this, but it looks like some kind of an M16 or a, an assault rifle of some sort. Now he is pointing his gun at someone off camera. He is he is uh, not pointing it at anyone that we can see um, or at the camera person. Next to him is a kid named Rich. Um, Rich has camo uh, has a camo undershirt under some kind of a vest. At least I'm deciding it's camo. It may not be camo. He is pointing his gun at the head of the person uh, right in front of him, <laughs> who is kneeling on the ground. Now, the person kneeling on the ground is a kid named Matt. Matt is pointing his gun at the camera. He looks kind of psychopathic. I mean, he looks like he he probably uh, could have grown up to be some kind of a, a, a murderer of some sort. Is he... Has he murdered anybody? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, that's good. Um, now, next to him is uh, is the person we'll come back to in a second. This person is holding a log. <laughs> this person is holding a log, sort of not unlike <laughs> not unlike Thorin Oakenshield. Um, you know, <laughs> it's got a handle on it. It looks vaguely gun-like, and he is pointing it at Matt, this person um, who is wearing uh, a blue uh, blue sweatshirt, blue sweatpants, and glasses. Um, 
And next to him, the final person uh, is a guy in a black tracksuit holding a blue pistol of some sort that that is the most fake looking one of the bunch outside of the log. Um, that the person come on that log middle. is actually a gun <laughs> that log is is a gun it's now, big it's heavy it's wood <laughs> i'm gonna link the log video for the second show notes in a row right um this person in the middle the, this person that is standing right in front of me at at well, let's say the uh the six o'clock position when i first saw this photo i thought of our friend dan who we did two episodes of the podcast with. Um, I don't recall being in Cub Scouts. So this is this this was in a Cub Scouts folder. I don't recall being in Cub Scouts with Dan. And he'll probably be like, if you were and he, you don't remember he's it, gonna he's going to be so, so mad. Shitty. He, he is already typing the angry email right now. Well, no, he's um, not. He's going to have to listen to it first. The angry, no, I'm saying right now as he's listening, he has already started typing the angry email or the angry text to, to, to one of us. Well, hopefully it'll be to um, you because you're the one who didn't fucking remember it. <laughs> <laughs> but but I immediately thought, and I was like, and well, what made me want that to be true, um, and this is maybe where he gets less mad at me, is is that like of all these people in this photo, I've lost touch uh, with all of them, and unless this one in the middle is Dan, um, and of all the people that I like, I'm happy to still be in touch with if this person is Dan, it would be Dan. Ah, you know, isn't like, that because, just nice? Because that's a person that like. <laughs> And it's it's similar, you know. I had um, I had a Facebook not argument. Uh, it was it was a back and forth on something uh, last week with my friend Brendan and somebody who knew us both back in middle school. And Brendan made a point that it had been six years since we had become friends. And this person was like, "No, you guys knew each other in middle school." And we're like, yeah, "We knew each other in middle school, but we didn't become friends until about six years ago in the years after college and whatnot." So yeah, I mean, like the people that you didn't necessarily. Uh, pal around with or you didn't pal around with for very long but then you became friends with later i think it would be really neat if this was fucking dan and if it's not dan um uh, i'm just gonna pretend it is until i'm told otherwise okay but we all kind of look like um junior members of the nra i mean it's uh it's pretty friggin' funny i mean it was a different time i get it but you know <laughs> it's, a, it's a scary picture i think we're all about to either murder the camera person or each other i mean everyone's got their guns pointed at somebody that's good that is good um and that was it we actually got through all of the uh the three things um, all right lightning round success lightning round done Alrighty, so we're at the end of the show. We're at the end of the show. We should plug some stuff and get the heck out of here. Well, I'm gonna leave. You're gonna stay. You're here. gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna edit this thing so that so people, that people can not be angry. Not Where's be angry. the show? And we can we can continue our streak of 48 straight Mondays. Well, 48 the counting this week in a row of of this podcast being there in your ear holes and not in your corn holes and not in your corn holes or in your Jake Lloyd's. Now, if we've got any. <laughs> If we've gotten anything wrong, you can email us at hot at clarkwoods.com. Or if I've gotten everything right, you can, t- <laughs> if Steve's gotten everything right, you can, you can get in touch with him on Twitter. Uh, at Tuesday is loser. That's Tuesday. I S loser. And for everything that I've gotten wrong, you can, uh, you can tweet it at me. Why don't you live tweet me? Uh, uh, they no. can't lie. They, this know, show they, isn't it, it, live. I, well, or they can listen. They and can li- oh, we've had this. We had this conversation before. and argument. We, we don't need to did. have it again. Uh, uh, so, and it's too late. You've already listened to the whole show, so you can't have been tweeting me the entire time. Maybe next uh, week you do it. <laughs> um, so you can send me tweets at ECC1977. Cool. cool. Well, yes. What do you think? You want to just end it like this and we then could, be like, hey, <laughs> something? Uh, silent but deadly. <laughs> that was far from silent. <laughs> <laughs>